How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So like the title said, how to EMP proof or harden your rifle. So we're going to get into two kind of things is how and why. But mainly we're going to talk about the why first, because some of you may not be in the category to actually need this. And to premise that, you know, your rifle might be a simple basic rifle that absolutely works. It's if you have electronic devices onto your rifle. So electronic devices are vulnerable to either man-made or natural based occurring events. Solar flare being natural or EMP being, you know, man-made. So if mother nature wants to be rude to humanity, which it has in the past and it will again because that's just how nature works and just so or send out a solar flare disrupting, you know, a portion or all or a regional area, you know, electromagnetic pulse, our earth's, you know, magnetic field can't handle it all depending on how big it is. And sensitive electronic devices that you use every single day are possibly, um, you know, could be damaged by them. And then you also have the man-made EMP base. So if another country gets mad at another country or is upset and wants to do something to them, they can man-made or, you know, artificially do the same thing at any time. Which one's more relevant? I would say uh, the nature or solar flare because it's happened in the past. It's happened, I think, 15 times since the Carrington event, roughly, just not as big scale. But it's going to occur again. And one thing on YouTube, literally, I've never seen anybody talk about how to EMP harden a rifle. So I figured, why don't I just share what I've been doing for years? So that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, some of you, like I said in the past, may not be in that category. Why are you going to harden your rifle? Do you need to do that if it's a deer hunting rifle with a common scope? No, you don't. You kind of need to be in a special category to have electronic devices on your rifle. And mainly one of those is probably a red dot sight of some kind. It's electronic. It uses electricity to work. But if you're in a etched reticle based scope, say like an ACOG or something like that, it does not use batteries. Well, specific ACOGs do, but this one, you know, the TA NSN01 does not. This one doesn't need it, but other devices do. Now, why would you need these other devices? Just touching on it real quick is if you're doing sneaky nighttime things with, you know, your specialty based devices to see at night, you're going to need other items to properly utilize your tool, which is, you know, IR based, you know, a device or white light, which and a red dot, which is all susceptible to EMP or, you know, electromagnetic pulse or blah, blah, blah. You're right. Listen to me. So lights, which is, is a Surefire M600 Scout light, awesome light, fed to a dual pressure switch and then into an at PLC or what some people know as a PEC 15. Also kind of piggybacking is a RMR red dot sight. All these could be harmed. So let's push into how. I'm going to do this or how I have. Now, normally, if you're a safe individual, you would keep this in a state safe that is normally metal construction. Now, depending on metal construction, um, they do a fair job at blocking, you know, EMP based waves or electrons or an overwhelming amount. So just leaving it in your safe might be suffice, but I'm talking about when you take it out of the safe and you're going to do stuff or say, you know, I just had my bug out bag right here talking about it, but it's down here now. Say you have it in your vehicle, a truck gun or something like that. You have night vision set up, a lot of electronic devices. How do you protect against that? Because it's not near safe. It's not metal. Well, here's how you do it. Cloth. Specific specialty cloth. Now I will list this in the description box below. This is purchased off of Disaster Preppers website. Let me get into that a little bit, but you can see how big this is. Now you can buy sheets and you can see kind of how used it is and whatnot, because I've used it and I've taken it all around the country to protect 
my electronic devices on my rifle, and, you know, other things like that. So, this is a particular type of cloth that has stainless steel woven into it. Now, if you are familiar with EMP-based, you know, events and how to block it, you need metal or some kind of covering to dissipate that energy from going through it. Metal's a great way to do it. But how do I do that with a rifle? Because you can't just like put tinfoil all over your rifle and just go for it. But you can with this cloth. So um, individual Arthur T. Bradley over at Disaster Prepper, he tests this stuff. He is a doctor. Uh, personally, never uh, communicated with him. I don't get any kickback for this. I've just used it and it's worked. And I like his products and I buy stuff off of him. That's pretty much it. I've never, I don't get any kickbacks, like I said. But it's nice because you can literally wrap your rifle in this. Let's get the night vision out of the way. And wear whatever you want, honestly. You could wrap uh, night vision in it. You could wrap solar panels. I used to write, wrap my solar panels, my big one for my Jackery in this. But then I found a larger Faraday box that I could do or utilize. But yeah, it's pretty simple. I mean, I'm not going to show you how, I guess, to wrap it up. But normally, I just lay this down. Not on top of it. I'm going to take the rifle out of it. Lay it down, and then you just do several wraps around it. So fully concealing it off, fold the ends in properly. And there you go. You got yourself a little bit of a package that you can put, you know, anywhere you like. Now, also interestingly enough, if you run around with cases, you could buy this material and line your entire case with it. So now whenever you put your case in, say it's lined in the bottom and up through the top, and then when you put your rifle in it, you just seal it around, just like tuck it all the way down in so it's overlapping. Now you got an EMP-proof plastic case for extremely lightweight. You don't have to carry metal around with you. And this is what I've been doing for years. Now, granted, I can't say like, wow, one happened, you know, three weeks ago and it protected my rifle. But Dr. Arthur T. Bradley literally went into like testing this physically with his equipment over vehicles, generators, solar panels, and other electronic devices and it's worked extremely well. I'll put his link in the description box below. If you don't believe me, go take a look at it. It works. He tested it. So I felt confident enough to, hey, let's uh, wrap my rifle in it, right? Because if something happens, I want to be ready. And I have a lot of money specifically into this particular SBR. I mean, there's almost $6,000, not including the night vision, you know, that has specific tools on how to make it work during certain times. So, simple, really simple. I will link this stuff in the uh, description box below if you want to do it. I think it's really handy, really smart. It's a little expensive for what it is, but if you just get a section like this, just measure out your rifle, make sure you have overlap, and then overlap it, and you're pretty much good. You could do this with a whole car, or a generator, or a safe, or you know, whatever you have, it doesn't have to be a rifle. Anyways, I figured I'd share that because little YouTube never spoke about it at all. There's no videos on it, so I figured I'd share it. But other than that, um, that's all I have to say about it on this product. It, I guess it works pretty well uh, after the testing. So other than that, definitely hit like, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Patreons out there. If you want to see more information like this, definitely hit it up there. So other than that, hope you have a great day.